Welcome back to Chance Time, ladies and gentlemen. Today we got the brand new Dual Devastator. So, without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and here we go. Now, I know you're guaranteed 4 out of 12 uh, Field Center cards. So, let's see what we get. We're, we're going to start off with that. As far as the cards, the like the deck of cards over here, I don't know if you're guaranteed the same cards every time. I, I totally forgot to check the Konami detail page for, for the product. Field Center. So, it these are paper i guess that's kind of lame i'll be honest i thought they were going to be like plastic uh but this one's really cool i guess uh this is my favorite artwork for for the new uh alternate arts for the ghost girls and there's an ash blossom cool i'll definitely i i think i would like these three i don't really like the ash blossom one so much uh but let me know which one are you guys looking forward to let's see so that's pretty cool Definitely like uh, Pegasus, Ghost Ogre, and what is her name? She's Zeke. I don't even know her name. <laughs> Ishizu, maybe? I think that's her name. Alright, where's the little plastic thing? Alright, guys, let's see how long this takes. It's somewhere over here. I found it. It's in the front. That took way longer. Than I thought. Here we take. All right. Oh, this this feels nice. So you got a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Very cool. All the new alternate arts. Ooh, Ghost Reaper actually looks pretty cool too. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Ash Blossom enjoys spring. I don't really like this one. I think I like the Seeker Rare more. We got the big forehead right here though. <laughs> this one's actually really cool as well. Ghost Bone Haunted Mansion. Very cool. Very very nice. Ooh, I forgot about Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. You can't really see the... I feel like you can't really see the dog as much. I want to see the dog. <laughs> we got the brand new card, Red Blossoms from Under Root. Very cool. I don't know what it does, but if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and pause. You guys can read the effect right there. So this is a throwback right here, Ally of Justice Catastor. You got a Bryonic. Metaphys Horus. So I think you're guaranteed uh, the same cards for, for this. The only thing that changes is the field centers. Black Rose Dragon. We got a Clear Wing Fast Dragon. Very cool. Uh, Stardust Spark Dragon. I actually don't have Clear Wing uh, Fast Dragon or Stardust Spark Dragon. So that's a cool add. I do have a Scarlet already. I do have a Trishula. I don't have this one. Vermilion Dragon Mech. It actually looks pretty dope. Be checking it out later but again guys if you guys want to pause and read the effect go for it oh skipped one so that was our synchros now to the xes i don't think i have an abyss dweller i might i'm not entirely sure but this actually looks really cool i like the i like the artwork i like the feel of the cards although after touching the field centers i don't know i feel like the cards feel kind of like the same very uh i guess flimsy maybe silent honor arc Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer. I do have a copy of this already. Tornado Dragon. A lot of Seeker Rares. I forget where it came from. I think it was a Relentless Revenge that it came in as a Seeker Rare. But that looks cool. I like how dark it is. All the XTs look super dark. I think most of the cards look a little darker than usual. Underclock Taker. We got a Land I believe this was a Structure Deck card. And I'm not sure if it came as a Hollow or a Common. But <laughs> I do have Gaia Saber already. Another deco talker, very cool. I mean, I guess it's cool, you know, for people who don't have uh, these cards. It's a good way to get them. By the way, I didn't get the box because uh, my locals was selling Dual Devastator without the box for $7 cheaper. So if you wanted a sealed box, it was $35. And if you wanted just, uh, you know, the contents, what was inside, it was $28. So I was like, I'll save myself seven bucks. Ooh, Top of Logic Bomber. Nice. I didn't know it had this. Sariuja, I totally forgot about Sariuja. Very cool. I haven't seen this card since I pulled it like the longest time ago. I always thought Sariuja was a dark. I didn't know it was an earth. Huh. Uh, we got a DD Crow. Nice little hand trap right there. Effect Veiler. Talking about hand traps. Gate Blocker. I don't know what it does. I do not know what this does. You get the effects of your opponent's field spells. Oh. There you go. Oh, Denko Seka. Not bad. 
Very cool. Inspector Border. <laughs> I do not like this card, man. I do not like it at all. Especially when my, my friend with a... He runs True Draco, so... Not the best card to play against. Spell Counselor. Artifact Lance. Yeah, I believe we just got a secret version of this in Hero's Revenge. Vanity's Fiend. This is also a very old card. I think this was GX or 5Ds. I think it was GX. So. Majesty's Fiend. So, cannot be special summon. Neither player can activate monster effects. So, so much, you know, a skill generator there. Ooh, Panker Tops looks really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I actually like this one more than the Seeker. I'll be honest with you. It looks really nice. <laughs> Gamma Seal. I think... I don't know, have, have any of you guys already watched, like, my head's getting tired. <laughs> have any of you guys already watched videos of anyone unpacking them? But yeah, I think it brings all the same cards. Mind Control, very cool throwback card. A Wave Motion Cannon for those people who are running uh, Mystic Mind, <laughs> that, that burn deck. I'm so glad Super Poly was in here because it's uh, it became a, an actual very expensive card, you know. Like $10 a copy or a little bit more than that, actually. Once it went, I think it's at 3 right now. Look at Eclipse, a very old card. I believe this was a common or a rare from uh, the Duelist Genesis. I think, I'm not sure. So we got the Silent Graveyard. I forgot the old name, but this is uh, with a re rename. Very cool. Ooh, Cosmic Cyclone, perfect against you, Dracos. <laughs> there, no, <annoying>, man. <laughs> Not that I'm hating on True Dracos, I actually like them, I think they're cool, but to play against, man, they're so annoying. Called by the Grave, that is awesome. I still want to get some uh, Prismatic Secrets from the new Mega 10. I still haven't pulled one, I still have not pulled the Prismatic Secret Called by the Grave, that is awesome. I really like the Super Rares and I really, really like the Ultra Rare, but I want. I need to get that uh, Prismatic Secret, that is awesome. Different Dimension Ground, we got a Typhoon, never really seen this card before. Uh, what does it do? Target one face of spell trap card on the field, destroy it. Oh, cool. Oh, that's super cool. You could actually activate this card from your hand. Uh, Forbidden Apocrypha. I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know what it does. Go ahead and pause, guys. Any of these cards, if you guys want to read what they do, just go ahead and pause the video and check it out. I believe you guys should be able to see D Barrier. I believe this was very hype uh, last year, like the beginning of the year. I'm not sure. At least that's when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. I heard a lot of talk about the card. Lost Win, nice. This is a, I think Lost Win was a rare out of Raging Tempest. I think that's the set. And then it got rarity bumped to a super, I believe, in one of the OTS packs. So it's cool to see an ultra rare version of it. Heavy Storm Duster. This was a, I want to say it was a super rare from Code of the Duelist. So very cool to see. I still use this card. I love this card. I actually, sometimes I prefer it over uh, Twin Twisters because you don't have to discard. Obviously, you have to kind of wait because it's a trap. You have to set it. But I always activate them during my opponent's turn anyway. So, Royal Decree. Very cool. I haven't seen this since, like, the Legendary Collection Yugi, I believe, and Joey. Anti-Spell Fragrance. Always a cool card as well. There can be only one. Uh, talk about True Dracos. True Dracos, man. I like, pretty much any deck, not even just True Dracos. I think um, Time Thieves also run this card, and man, is it annoying. You, unless you are you have, like, a combo deck, I guess. But I, I run, like, I usually run, like, pure, pure, like, uh, I like the pure strategies. I don't know. So, I think I was using, what was I using? I don't remember. But it's such an annoying card. <laughs> Wiretap's always a cool card. When Trap Card is activated, negate the activation. If you do, shovel that card into the deck, so. Very cool. Solemn Strike. All the Solemn Judgment and Solemn Strikes right now. Everybody needs them. A red reboot for our last card, I believe. So, always a nice card. I uh, would want to actually get the Prismatic Secrets from this one, but still nice to have. Alright, guys, that was Dual Devastator. Uh, let me know what is your favorite hang trap. Hand trap. Uh, something like I said, hang trap. But uh, let me know what your favorite hand trap is. Comment it down below. Let me know what cards you guys were looking forward to the most from Dual Devastator. I'll probably do a giveaway. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I'll be honest with you. If I do a giveaway, I'll probably give away some field, field centers. I am going to be uh, opening up. I think I'm going to open up like two or... I think like two, one or two more boxes. I don't know yet. Depends. Maybe I'll just buy them. I don't know. But I'm, maybe I'll give away some field centers or some cards. And like, let me know, guys. You guys can decide. But 
I honestly don't like the quality of these field centers. They look cool though. Uh, but yeah, I got some extra packs as well. There's definitely a lot of hero hype right now with how uh, well, short printed the heroes were. And then I'm still trying to get that prismatic call by the grip. So let's see what happens. We got a number 40 gimmick puppet shrinks. Sun Dragon Inti, Red Blast. Fire at uh, Fire Ant Ascator and a Preda Palani for it. Um, the No Hollow series continues. Gimme Puppet Drary Doll. Call the Earthbound Evil Hero Malicious Fiend. Preda Plant uh Clammy Dosendu. <laughs> Clammy Dosendu. Dark Sanctuary. Uh, let's see what else we got. I uh, might actually not get any hollows. Better plan uh, climbing go those and do again. Dark calling, or go the sun. Give a puppet Humpty Dumpty and an evil mind. That is zero out of three hollows, guys. Or zero, out yeah, zero hollows out of three packs. We got a roar of the earthbound immortal, evil here infernal gainer number forty again. Dark fusion and a better prime fusion. All right, can we get one hollow out of five packs? Can we get one hollow? Did I just like totally move this? I'm sorry. Prepare pan, uh, Drossel Film Hydra or something like that. Magnet doll. Magnet doll. Yo, so somebody actually asked me what gender I think this uh, doll is, whether it's a boy or a girl. I'll be honest, I don't know how the gimme puppets are super creepy, so <laughs> I don't know. I would actually, I want to ask you guys that question. It's kind of weird to be honest, but if you guys want to answer that, comment it down below. I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys uh, think of Gimme Puppets. Like, well, at least this card, whether it's a boy or girl, I honestly don't know. <laughs> They're so creepy. It's perfect for Halloween. Uh, Zoma, the spirit. Ooh, we actually got an ultra rare, guys. We got Ascator, Don Walker. Nice. Feels, it feels good, you know, after like opening four packs and not pulling any hollows. Nice. We got an evil mind. It could have been, you know, if it was an evil hero card, it would have been much, much better, but it's all good. We got a hollow. We'll definitely get some hollows out of these unless I get, like, a pack that has no hollows. That'd be, that'd be weird. I don't have, I don't think I've seen that before. All right, let's just kind of skip through this. Crystal Master, Gobby Dragon, Galaxy. All right, guys, here we go. We got an Incantation Bookstone for a super. How's your guys' multi-figure? Nice, that's actually a good one. I'm cool with that. The one that counts. Ah, uh, this has got to be like a Thunder Dragon, yeah? Thunder Dragon Titan. Very cool. Alright, guys. That is it for this video. Again, whether you guys want to get some dude giveaways, um, fuel centers, I don't know. Some questions here and there. <laughs> uh, but, uh, one last thing, guys. I found some X-Men and I believe it's some DC cards. I haven't really gone through them. I posted a picture on Instagram. Asking you guys whether you guys want to see them or not because uh, I'm down to do a video with them while I, I kind of go through them So if you guys want to see some X-Men, you know if You guys like X-Men Marvel DC any of that stuff. I think there's some other random cards in there I don't even know to be honest uh, But let me know if you guys would actually like to see a video of that and other than that I'll re I am gonna be doing a collab. I don't know if it's gonna be next week or when but stay tuned for that I'm gonna be doing a collab with Cree Nation y uh, YGO and uh, the legend cooks so I'll see you guys on Monday, I guess. Is it Thursday? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my days. No, I'm just playing. All right, guys. Peace.